everyone. I'm Councilwoman Betty Guardado representing District 5 and today we're here in Oso Park in District 5 in Maryvale and we want to talk to you guys about the parks and we have our parks director Cynthia who is going to talk to us a little bit about what's been going on here in our parks and um, what's going on with COVID what are the different restrictions that we have going on so Cynthia tell us what are the do's and the don'ts at our parks Good morning, Councilwoman. Thank you for having me. There are so many exciting things still going on in our park system. We're uh, standing right here in front of one of our favorite playgrounds here, and that is an amenity that is currently open, along with many other things in the parks that remain open. All of the beautiful green space, our um, trails, our golf courses, our pickleball and tennis courts, and our park restrooms remain open. We really encourage people to get out and use our park system safely right now. Um, due to the COVID pandemic, there naturally are some closures. Things like basketball courts, volleyball courts, our fitness equipment, our outdoor fitness equipment, uh, things like that remain closed during this time. However, if you are going to visit our parks, please do so responsibly. We ask that you wear masks, that you remain six feet apart from those that are not in your same household, uh, and that you do things like bring your own hand sanitizer or wipes, and please don't visit the parks if you're exhibiting any symptoms. Thank you so much for that, Cynthia. So one of the things that people have been asking, and we, and we wanna be able to answer these questions, right? Um, people say, you know, if I wanna take my son out to the field, and I just wanna throw a football with him, he's bored, he's, doing online learning, he needs to get out of the house. Um, can, I, can we do that? Can they do that? Can they come out to the park and, and play ball with their two kids or, or, with their, or with their child? Great question, absolutely. And that's exactly the type of activity that we love to see in our parks. We're encouraging families to get out, to come enjoy the open space, bring a ball, have a picnic, keep it to small groups, small, uh, a, or a small number of individuals from your household um, and come out and enjoy what we have open right now. Well, thank, thank you so much for that, Cynthia. I know that there's a lot of questions that people have, a lot of concerns, a lot of people that thought that they couldn't come and visit the park, um, but we wanna encourage people to come out to the park, but to be responsible. I know that it's really hard to keep these masks on, but this is the only way that we are gonna flatten this curve. And, and another thing, right, that we are trying to encourage people is that just, just stay six feet apart from someone that you don't know. If there's like 10, 15 kids on the monkey bars, take your kids off the monkey bars, right? Take them out, have them run, do something different. Let's all do our part. Let's all social distance. Let's all keep our masks on. I know we need some sanity. I know we need to be out in the trails. We need to be out in the parks. We understand that we want people to do that but we also need to make sure that we keep safe. So tell us, Cynthia, what else is going on in our parks in D5? Well, in D5 specifically, we had some exciting projects that we were able to get completed last year. Um, one of the more recent ones was a brand new playground out at Washington Park, um, and we're excited about it. It has a new structure for two to five-year-olds and the older kids as well. Um, so you're gonna see beautiful playground out there. We also did some necessary work, like um, a new parking lot out at, out at La Pradera um, that was really needed. And so parking um, and safe parking is a really important element of the parks. And then coming up this year, we have some, um, some projects that we're especially excited about. Uh, we've been working with the community on some other park development projects, such as improvements at Little Canyon Park, West Plaza Park, and uh, hopefully a brand new skate plaza out at Solano Park. So really exciting things. District 5 has a lot coming up this year. Well, thank you so much for that, Cynthia. And once again, please social distance six feet apart. If you don't have to leave your house, don't leave your house. If you're bored, you need to come to the park, come to the park. That's okay, but make sure that you're always wearing your mask. We are gonna have a COVID van here at Oso Park next weekend. You're gonna look look for those details. You can get them. Look look on our website for all the information that you might need on how is it that we can flatten this curve. And with that, thank you so much for watching this.